the podcast that has absolutely no substance because we talk about everything and absolutely nothing all at the exact same time. Guys, I have a fellow fucking comedian in today. I'm so excited. Mr. Mur Murray. Sauce Sa Chuck. Yes, yes. Sauce Chuck. Look at that. No, yes. fuck, fuck. Ah, I was Very trying to good. say it without the fucking name on the screen. I know. I you did good, to... though. You did good. That's I why I've always to... gone by Murray, because Saw Chuck, for some reason, is just weird for people to say. Wait, why? It's know. such an easy word. I just started using my last name again after like 30 years. I never used it. It was just like Murray the Magician or oh. Magic Murray, because Murray's hard enough and it's a weird enough name. So I just started, because people are like, you know, no one else has the word Saw Chuck. I said, I know. That's why I never fucking used it. You know, it's, it's, it's so hard to say. But now I realize it's something different. And of course, every show I go on, they always use it. So now this coming in 2024, I'm actually using my full name now. Isn't that funny? Mary. Halfway through my career. And now I'm using my last name. I you know? Oh my God. That's like Rihanna. Rihanna did the same mm -hmm. thing. Did she really? Yeah. Yeah, she started yeah. using the, the, the Fenty. Like, oh, yeah. That, yeah. That's that's yeah. That, that, that all of her pro beauty products are all Fenty yeah. shit. And I'm yeah. like, that's her real last name. Yeah, Great. isn't that wild? What's Madonna's last name? Oh, that's a good question. I know somebody out there knows it right away. Oh. Really? I'm it's, like, uh, not... uh, it's Italian. I can't what about Cher? That. There's a lot of one name people that I don't know their last name. Yeah, Cher, the singer. That's her last name. <laughs> that's her last name. The Wait, singer. What's. What's Sonny, Sonny's last name? Sonny. Sonny shares. Bono! Sidekick. Boner, yeah. Sonny Boner. Boner yeah. <laughs> Sonny Boner. Sonny so share boner. boner. Yeah. We gotta share, share the boners. Boner, exactly. We gotta share the boners. Exactly. If I get one, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll definitely share you with you. That's what we do. That's why we're guys. We like to share the boner. Wait, so you said that you, you've you been out here in Vegas for 20 something years? Yeah, I what? came here in 2002, January 26th. I opened my first show at the Frontier Hotel. Did you? Ages ago, yeah. And I mean, I just came up for like a six-month contract or like a three-month contract. Stayed um, for 21 stayed years? Stayed for 21 years and I haven't <laughs> left. Yeah, I can't get myself out of this town, you know? What's so. your favorite thing about Vegas, though? I think the coolest thing about Vegas is at any time of the day, mm -hmm. and I mean any time of the day, you can go and grab a drink, grab a meal, and go do something. I think it's kind or of Or grab wild. a stripper. Or grab a stripper or a hooker, whatever you, you need. You could grab you know a I mean? stripper yeah. or a hooker at like exactly. three in the afternoon. Exactly, just I for, you that. know, just for coffee. Just for coffee, yeah. and they'll do that. Yes, Can exactly. we talk about it, yo? Yeah. Guys, like, can you, can you guys need to start treating these prostitutes and these hookers with a little bit more respect. Reason being, they're fun as fuck. Yes. I, okay, so I used to be a stripper. Okay, yeah. When you're a stripper, you get into the lifestyle of like, you you meet escorts, you Everything, meet prostitutes, right. you meet, you meet even like high-end video girls, which sure. are still fucking, they're still fucking stripper. Yeah, if yeah. you're a high-end video girl, bitch, you <laughs> fucking the artist, you are a fucking escort. I don't give a shit what anybody what said. What you call it, right? Yeah, a video girl. Mm -hmm. What do you call her? I don't know. I, I don't know. I didn't know there was a name. I didn't know video girl was a name. That's pretty wild. Yeah, they're good. Video like vixens. Like a porn star or a video girl? Like a video they're girl. called video vixens. So what is it, like a Cam girl or something on cam? No, no. they're those are those are the girls that that get hired for music videos. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah, oh, so I you know you. you're okay. dancing yeah. in front of the car in front yeah, of the fucking rapper right, yeah. and shit, and yeah. then afterwards they're like, "Hey, you want to come to the after party? <laughs> they fuck you for hundred and fifty dollars." Wow, what is that the going right? Yeah, is that the rate right now? Well, it's the rate. It's the rate to get into the fucking job. I got it. Like just to be yeah. able to dance in front of the rapper, sure. one fifty. But then he's like, "Hey, you want to go back to the room?" And she's like, "Oh, he's gonna be a star one day." Exactly. And you go and fuck a dude for free. So you're oh. hedging your bets. You're hedging your bets, right? Yes. But I've always said this though. So you know, like you know, uh, guys pay hookers, you know, to to hang out with them and five hundred bucks or thousand yeah. a night or whatever they pay, right? And some of my friends are like that is horrible. I cannot believe that. What? And or a girl or my friend would be like, uh, "I can't believe you're getting paid to you know fuck a guy." And I'm thinking. You fucked a lot of guys for no money. At least, you're, at least you know what you're getting, and you make some money, and hopefully have a great time. And you're, you know what the hell? And I always said, how many people have you fucked for free? Got nothing. And so at least you know you're getting something, right? And it's a win-win, right? So, you know, I don't know. You know, and then there's guys that was who pay for girls, right, right? And I'm like, I can't believe you're paying this kind of money. So why don't you date somebody for five years? It costs you a fortune. <laughs> so at least 500 bucks, you know what you're getting, and you're back to, you know, you're back at home watching your Netflix and chilling by yourself, like, and you know, I don't know. You know, everyone's got their thing. It's not my thing, but I just think a lot of people, you know, when you sit down and have a conversation, you go, it's not the end of the world. You wouldn't rent a hooker? No, I don't think I would. I, I mean, maybe would. if I couldn't get a girl yeah. and I wasn't married and I could, you know, maybe I didn't, you know, have a few, you know, um, Hook, you know, things you, that I you, was, you know, I don't know. You I'm know. sure you got a line of bitches that you're just like, I don't need. 
I don't need to pay the hooker. If I was gonna pay her, I'd just I'd rather just give my friend twenty bucks. Exactly. <laughs> Take it for dinner, right? Exactly. You know, maybe twenty five. You know what I mean? Because what you're saying is so absolutely true. Right. Because a lot of people, um, because I was a sugar baby. Mm -hmm. So people okay. used to talk yeah. shit about the fact that I was a sugar baby, like, yeah. oh, you get paid to fuck kind of deal. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, look, in all genuineness, yeah. Like, even if I got paid to be in a relationship or got paid to fuck, sure. you did it for free. So yeah. who's the cheaper whore, me or you? You're right. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I may have a price tag, but you sure the fuck did it. You was at Goodwill See? on the clearance section, bitch. <laughs> fuck you. See? Your pussy's Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> See? Exactly. Fuck that bitch. Oh, yeah, it's true. Nope, nope. No, I'm like no you know. Phone, I hate my phone. You Some, addicted to it? You like okay? You know, you know. I literally got another phone to mm -hmm. like. I got a new number, got but it. I still kept my old phone. I just have two phone numbers okay. basically. I switched it, and then okay. I check my old phone. It's like is that three. for the old like the exes and the ones you don't like so much, but you want to make keep tabs on them? Yeah. And this is the new friends over here. Yeah. This is like this is 2019 it's to 2022. <laughs> <laughs> this is 2023 to now. You kind of okay, so you know who's called. Basically, it's like <clears throat> that just became my business phone because it's like it's like there's so many people that are calling me and texting me about like, hey, Lana, want to do a show? Lana, sure. want to do this? Yeah. Like, I'm like yeah. so this now this phone is like my mom, my friends, sure, my the family. Good, the ones that you don't yeah, send the, the wrong pictures to. Oh my oh, God! Have you done babe. that? Ah! Say you're like oh, oh talk grandma. About no, you, you did. Know, no, who did my, you do my that to? are dead, but um, <laughs> oh, so fuck, we're I'm clear sorry. on that. <clears throat> I still send pictures, but they're not gonna see. But yeah. Wait, <laughs> have you ever sent the picture to the wrong person? No. Yeah. It's, oh yeah. Way back in the day, it's happened. Sure. You're like oh, and you do a little joke going oh, oh, oh. so you listen. Know what I mean, send something to my wife. I'm like oh shit. That's a, your uh, wife? Of course, I always send something to my wife. But sometimes you're not looking, and all of a sudden you're like oh my god, hey bro, sorry about that. Just you know. <laughs> Good side of my dick, so you got that edge, but at least, hey, at least it's a good picture. At least when you send something, at least it's a good picture. Don't ever send a shitty picture out, because even if somebody that shouldn't see the picture sees it, you go, wow, you got a huge dick. You know, at least you get the right angle. You know, your tits are right, but at least if you send, send good pictures out. You got it from out. the bottom. That's yeah, what it yeah, is. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> never send I... a crap picture. If a crap picture goes out to the wrong person, now it's just a crap picture and a wrong person. <laughs> If you send a good picture, at least it's a great picture to the wrong person. Like, well, sorry, big You're dick. Like, it happens, right? It was a big At least hey, you know. At exactly. least show it to your wife, you know, bro. Show it to your wife. Photoshop looking fancy, you know? You, you know what, though? Okay, Same. so. I had sent, I had actually sent the wrong picture to the people here at Sticky Puffs. No. Oh, Was wait, it good? It, so, it wasn't, it wasn't a nude. Okay. What it was, okay, so um, I owed my friend money. Mm -hmm. So I sent it to someone here. He, he, his name is Austin. He's, uh -huh. His name starts with an A, so I was just like, A. Oh, no. Boom. <laughs> sent it. Gone. He, Gone. He was like, wait, Lana. <laughs> well, like, what are you, like, did, did, does it, are you trying to pay me $900 for some dick? And I was like, <laughs> no! <laughs> That's it. And once you hit send, you're like, ah, you're like, it's gone. Ah, it's like oh my, cutting a kite cord, like, it's gone. You're you know like, there balloon, goes all that. You know when a balloon flies away? Oh, yeah, gone. And you're like, oh, with, God. With all dicks and $100 oh, bills, it's God. gone. See? That was like, what that picture felt like. That's Lana's. <laughs> That's Lana's. She must have said that to somebody. Oh, my God. Yeah, wow. We need dicks. So what was your excuse balloon. on that? Going, oh, dude, that was. I told them just, the truth. I don't know. Somebody stole my phone. No. I, <laughs> let me tell you something. I, at 100%, I am the ho I am mm. the most horrible liar ever. Well, good. I, I just straight up told the truth. I good. know I'm, I know it was work, but I was yeah, like, sure. hey, so. Hey, just, you know, misfire. I had a front. Misfire. I was a joke. It was, it was a joke. I was just, I was yeah. just playing. Yeah. <laughs> Dicks and money, you know. But, you know, at least, at, at least, least, at least they know I make my friends money. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I got it. Oh my uh, god. Okay, so mm -hmm. so as a as a Las Vegas comedian, I gotta ask the drugs. Yeah. Do you do them? I don't. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. Your I, hair says otherwise. I know. And trust me. At every nightclub I hang out, guess what? Every half an hour, somebody goes, "Do you want some? You got a bump?" You got, I'm like, "Got a bump?" I don't know. I've never done coke in my life. Can you believe that? No. Isn't that wild? Honest to God. Yeah, I've never done it. I'm not against it. You know, if people want to do it, knock your socks off. I, I'm scared. The one time I would do you it, let someone do it off your dick? <sighs> if it's my wife and she's hot and she wants coke, yeah. Just a tip, though. So it's got to, you know. Just a just tip. tip. Just a tip. And for the right price. Hey, if we Wait, can make some money. At we the can tip, make some it money. might make you high. It does, really? At the no tip? Way. Really? I mean, at the, at the, I feel like at the really? shaft, you won't really get contact. But if it gets in the pee hole. It might get a little bit. Uh, no, it might get a little loose. Oh, the other way. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Coke, coke dick. Molly does that. You ever heard Didn't of coke? Nobody told me that. Molly makes oh, your yeah. dick oh, soft? Oh, yeah. Molly makes your dick soft? Oh, yeah. Nobody knew, told me about that. Shut up. Yeah, well. I've done Molly with people. Did your dick get soft? 
my dick did not get so <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't, you know. I was like, my dick was, oh. yeah, exactly. But no, I'll smoke weed now and then and hang out like that with my friends. It's chill. Oh, I'm, you I'm smoke more, weed. I yeah. Like okay. But more of my hang is kind of like having a glass of wine or two or three, you know, oh. and just chilling. Because I'm always doing something. I'm always driving. I'm always working. Like, you know, from now on, I go to LA on Monday. As a Sunday, I have a show every night till January 1st. I don't, which thank God, knock on wood. <laughs> but for a magician and for, I can't, like rock and roll singers, I guess, can do drugs and just fucking feel in the vibe. Yeah. And rock and roll. For me, I'm so thinking when I'm on stage. Plus, oh. I'm a magician, so I'm doing weird shit with my hands, and I'm thinking, I couldn't, I could barely could have a couple glasses of wine go on stage because I got so many things I'm thinking about. Yeah. And I want to be quick and funny, right. and I'm trying to do something with goddamn hands that's supposed to be magical. <laughs> and when you're high or drunk or whatever, things don't work as quickly, which is okay when you're not getting paid to be on stage. Yeah. But when you're on stage, I cannot take that risk. A lot of my friends can, um, but they're not working as much as <laughs> I am. <laughs> That could be an issue. Um, but I'm very lucky to be working as much as I do. So I kind of, you know, work hard, play hard kind of yeah. thing. So when I'm off, I'm off. But when I'm on, I kind of try to keep, you know, a an good. even keel kind of. Yeah, you know what I mean? But So what yeah. kind of magic? Because, okay, you know. so I I thought you just did comedy. Okay. When you look like this. Come on, I have to do comedy. I look ridiculous. No, you don't. Look at me. I look it's like actually a like, I mean, it, you look like a magician, though, Thank which you. is crazy. Like, <laughs> that help? <laughs> the, 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 the point. The jazz the, hand. Point. The jazz hand. Point. <laughs> well, Every uh, magician I know, is, they got to do something. I'm like, quit the, the bullshit. You Put got your hand it down. though. Look That's nice. so. I can't even do now, it. What are we doing? What does that mean? What is? What are we doing right here? This is the voila. Yeah, but there's sometimes no voila. You, this does nothing. It's not <laughs> Spider Man. You're pitch No, you just, you just like you're begging for another buck. You're begging you for know? another buck. Jesus, you know. I don't know. So, you know? Okay, so a little bit of a backstory, guys. I actually met Murray on Instagram. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm, I'm, yeah. I think you were the one who found yeah. me. And sure. then when I found you, I was like, oh, he's a comedian. This yeah, is, yeah. Oh, he's funny. I love following like, comedians. love following anybody who's rocking and rolling. It's nice to connect with people. Because also, if you know social media, it's great to get that vibe. Because when you share a comment, you know, you get the yeah. algorithms up. Everything happens like that. So, And I'm all about supporting everything in town and around. Because right. that's what it takes. Enough people that hate on people in this world. Support. You know, you know yeah. okay, you know what this crazy part is? Is I don't understand the hate. It's I jealousy. genuinely don't get, but even jealousy, I'm like, if you're jealous of a person, and I like, I, 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 I can't sit here and say that I've never been jealous of a person. You sure. know, you get a little like, damn, I wish I had that. Yeah. But I have never hated them for wishing that I had what they had. No, no, like, it's a weird place you have to be in. I think you have to be unhappy with your life yeah. To be unhappy for other people, and 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 that's it's your nice. own problem. And hey, nothing's easy. Shit, with money and relationships and life and health, you know, life's not easy. But but when you're and the worst thing too is the Instagram and the TikTok stuff because what happens now? Because I grew up, you know, from, I was born in the '70s and '80s. We didn't have cell phones and stuff, so we only read the newspaper or the TV. What was ever on TV? Mm, yeah. So when somebody was really famous on TV, you're like, oh my god, that's Tina Turner. Oh my god, that's Elton John. And they and you, to get on TV, you had to be really, really great. You didn't yeah. have to, now you can just be crap and get on TV. And then <laughs> that works the other way. You know what I mean? You can do jackass and stick a pull up your ass and go, oh my God, let's put them on TV because it's about views. Back in the old days, you really had to be a triple threat or have some real talent. And a real you know? triple threat. Oh, yeah. So dance, dance, act, whatever. Yeah, and comedian, act. whatever. Yep. And so there was such a quality of stars, meaning the Liberacci's and Elvis Presley's and, and Chuck Berry's and Stevie Ray Vaughan's and all these wonderful people out there, you know? Um, so now it's a different thing. So the problem is you will look at people online now and they will be selling out arenas and some are valid they should be selling out arenas because yeah. they're really funny and they're really great yeah. others are doing because they're a fad or they got such a hype right now and it makes no sense you know <laughs> some not necessarily having like William Hung I don't know if you remember this because you might be too young but William Hung was huge on American Idol he sang a song called She Bangs She Bangs okay yeah and really famous kind of he has a meme now and that but this is back in the um, early 2000s I was had a bunch of awards to my name, won everything, no one knew who the hell I was. He was on American Idol, sucked as a singer, horrible singer, but they kept him on for enough episodes that he became viral, when viral wasn't even a word back in 2002, oh. because it was just so wild, but he was so confident, he was so comfortable, and they just kept on, and the fans loved him, and that was the start, when things started to go that way, going, wait a minute, you don't need to be amazing or great 
to get attention. You just need to get attention. Right. You know what I mean? And that's where it all started going that way. And then the Osbournes had their show and the Kardashians oh, and everything boy. else. And they're the ones that really started the whole, there would be no Reality. Kardashians without the Osbournes, you know? And so you see this stuff and you go, wait a minute. So now it's a weird thing now because you can be really talented. You can be phenomenal. But if you can't get people to watch you, it doesn't matter how great you are. That's but so you true. can go suck a goat's dick and get <laughs> online, right? <laughs> And you will get a, a ton of views because you're sucking a goat's dick, right? And it's just sucking a goat's dick. But if you go up there and do five minutes of brilliant stand-up, but you, you're not hot or your tits aren't out or you're not sucking a goat's dick, no one's going to watch you anymore because they're just, no one gives a shit. Right. You know what I mean? So that's the problem with entertainment nowadays. I'm old enough now, I can say this, I've been through kind of all that. I've done social media. You know, all my videos I did online for five years was pranking cops. That's how I got no online. Way. All my stuff. So, and, and that's not something I wouldn't suggest. Uh, but <laughs> it worked well for us because I had to find a new environment to put my magic tricks in because they were boring and bland and just not you getting You did magic them. with the cops? Yeah. Of course, all the stuff, yeah. So if you watch any of my stuff online, that's all my stuff online is pranking cops or I parking noticed. attendants or people that park bad and all that and doing nice things for the homeless. Those are kind of my things that we did online oh, for years. I love that. So I learned how to follow the algorithm thanks mm -hmm. to my producer, uh, Seth Leach, who's the young, he's like, you're a young young and he has he knows what to do and i'm willing to take a risk anyways i'm willing whatever it takes you yeah know i mean i don't know about sucking a goat's dick but the point is <laughs> um i do know how to get views and it's fun to do it but there's you gotta want to stay within your brand as well so mm -hmm. i didn't go too far off mine but it was a risk and it worked but so that's the problem with entertainment now you can go on stage and be brilliant but you really have to find that edge you gotta do something different you know andrew yeah. dice clay so I'm not sure you know about his work, but he was very the first really comedian to really go off the rails. And I mean, if he said what he would, if he said stuff now that he said in the '80s, now he'd be canceled, canceled in two seconds, one word. And he sold out. He was the first comedian to sell out Madison Square Garden in the '80s. Huge rock star. And now people are, you know, comedians are doing it all the time. You know what I mean? Uh, like Eric Schultz just sold out Madison Square Gardens for yeah. two nights, and he's a phenomenal comedian from New York. You know, um, and people are doing it now. You know, Tom Segura and all these guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, but he did it like what people are doing now. You know, Andrew Dice Clay came out saying things you shouldn't say and saying things people were thinking that you should never think. And that's how he became very famous, you know. And now he's actually a really good actor and still a great comedian, you know what I mean? Um, but it's funny how what he did back in the day is kind of old news now because that's what people are trying to do now to get a reaction. Yeah, you know, what's so. funny is that, yeah, like that's a, people are trying to get a reaction in that sense, but I feel like people nowadays are doing the dumbest shit. Like, like, like you know that kids are dying over trying to get views? Like yeah. the cinnamon challenge mm -hmm. or the, yeah. there was this one challenge where this kid, um, he was hospitalized because he did this elephant, mm -hmm. it was an elephant glue, elephant something, mm -hmm. tranquilizer, I don't know what the fuck. But he got hospitalized for it just trying to get views and I'm like, people yeah. really be doing this shit Not for worth fucking it. views. Yeah. And That's, you wonder when's it going to stop. See, you know, we're all, you know, I'm an explanation, wait, you know, when's you, it going to stop, you know? Did you hear about those kids that killed the older man that was on the bike? You mean here in Vegas? Here in Vegas. Oh, no, yeah, of course. And now they're in jail. And they yeah. they should be killed, to be honest with you. They should be oh, no, you know? they're That's disgusting pieces opinion, of but, shit. No, yeah. And they videotaped it, and they have it all. I'm thinking, Videotaped what are you it doing? and posted it for yeah, yeah. views. Yeah. And Killed I'm, this guy. Yeah, and I'm thinking, what do you think is going to happen in this day and age? You can't do anything. You can't walk down the street without being seen by somebody. Like, even when I, I love American Greed, and I love Forensic Files, the TV show. Yeah. I'm fascinated by that. And, and now in this day and age, I can't believe somebody goes, I'm just going to kill somebody. I think this is what, like the guy that happened, unfortunately, with all the UNV people, uh, you, uh, you know, yesterday oh, in the know. shooting in town, which is, you know, all my hearts go to those people, um, that somebody thinks they can, at that point when you do something like that, you got to realize you just don't give a shit and you want to die. You're done. You're done with yeah. living in life. And it's a shame that a lot of people want to take other people's lives with that, you know? I can but, never understand you know, wanting to it. take someone else's yeah. life. Because no. even when I'm like, even when I'm like ultimately upset at somebody, yeah. I'm like, I want to hurt you. Yeah. But like yeah. the hurt is like a slap. Yeah. Like I just want to smack, like run yeah. you over with a car, like shoot yeah. you, stab you and stuff. Kicking the cunt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I don't 100%. know. There's a, there's a few people that I'm like, bro, yeah. like if I had the opportunity to just gut you. Yeah. No, I wouldn't yeah. have plan. Just, no, no. But, but you know, when somebody hits somebody like that, you know, I'm all about that. You kill them, you're dead. I, I don't want to waste my, why are you going to jail? Why are we doing, if you have a video and you're in the car and it's 100% proven that you hit these people and you kill them for no other reason yeah. than your stupidity, yeah. not a car accident, not being, you know, an accident. Uh, I don't, uh, there's no need for you. You don't deserve no, to live. I, I'm, I don't care how you know, old you are. And I don't how care how much you go to rehab and have counseling. Screw yeah. that. You, you lost your chance. I don't give a shit how old you are. 
I believe in the death penalty for that because I'm wasting time on taxes, keeping you in jail, yeah. this other crap. And I'm thinking, what are we doing? Why are we wasting your time? You're being an asshole. Goodbye. We don't there's need you. There's a that. lot. I feel you like know. there's a lot of things in, in like, if there's proof that you actually committed a crime and it has to do with murder, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I feel like those people shouldn't be alive or yeah. kids or yeah. animals. Yeah. If you kill oh, and man. hurt something, yeah. like, I know, because one thing that I don't like is that we treat people like they're you know, fucking God's gift to earth kind of deal, mm -hmm. but animals are just like, oh, if you hurt an animal, it's a $2,000 fine. Yeah. Or if you burn a cat, it's, yeah. you know, it's just a, it's just like three days in jail or something. Yeah. I don't like that. I disagree. I, I completely agree with you on that. Yeah. I think it's still a living. I love animals as well. And I'm thinking it's a living, just because the cat can't drive a car and can't, you know, get a job at yeah. Walmart doesn't mean that killing a cat is not as strong as killing a person, yeah, you know, exactly. or a dog. It's a living being and it's a mentality that you think you have some power trip over this thing that's weaker than you. Yeah. What do you get off on that? And when's it going to stop? Because it's going to be a cat. What? It's going to be at this. It's going to, you know what I mean? And then, of course, people can argue, well, what if you kill a spider or a fly? I'm like, okay, well, you know, there's another argument there, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you sit back and go, what do you not have in your life? that you need to do this to something else to make you feel better. Right. You know? So I just don't have patience for it. And yeah. what happens with the gator? Yeah. He just gets disposed? Yeah. And what's funny like is that. would that happen if it was a panda bear? See? Oh, see, because panda bears are just as aggressive. Cute. Exactly. But so isn't that cute. weird how we see that, though? We look at an alligator because they're not cuddly and they're they're mean and they, they got, they're, you know, aggressive, but they're not pretty. You don't yeah. want to cuddle them, right? And so they kill something when it's in their world. You're walking down a lake in Florida, and you know damn well that's where they live. Yeah. Why would you have a little chihuahua or a puppy run the lake when you know that's... Okay, walking across a parking lot in the middle of nowhere, that's a problem. Okay. okay. You shouldn't be there. When you're in their <laughs> world, you know, and but then a panda bear eats something up, and you and it, cause it's cute, though. Yeah. So you're like, I don't want to kill. I'm thinking... Unfortunately, it's a horrible system when you see an alligator, you go, oh, we can kill it, make some boots out of it because it's not pretty. But a panda bear is cute, can't do that. Isn't that the weirdest thing? That it's is so, so yeah. fucked up. I that know, is yeah. fucked up because I feel like people people will be the biggest, people do the same thing with dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pit bulls. That's right. Oh, no. You could kill those. You yeah. can put those in the, That's like, right. don't adopt them. They're killer animals mm. when they're really fucking not. Yeah. But God forbid. Oh, there's a fucking teacup chihuahua. Oh, my God. It's a, it's yeah. protected. It's mm -hmm. small. It's tiny. No, those, them bitches are mean. Yeah. God forbid you get close to a fucking yeah. chihuahua's bed. And it's like, yeah. 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 The fucking, I hate chihuahuas, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I won't kill one, but I hate chihuahuas. That's God damn! Funny. I would, if I had to choose between a pit bull or a chihuahua, I'd choose a pit bull. See, I disagree. Isn't that Why? funny? First of all, I have three chihuahuas, uh -huh. long haired. They're all girls and all rescues. A pit bull, I don't have. I like pit bulls with my friends that have them. But here's my problem: if my mom walks into a room uh, that she doesn't know either dog, and she's eighty three, yeah, and she walks in and a pit bull jumps up because it's excited and lands on her and throws her backward. It'll crack yeah. her head open and she'll die. Yeah. Because if that pit bull isn't trained or it came from a place where it was used as a bait dog and is an angry animal mm -hmm. and say its attraction is to a red sweater and that's the trigger because yeah. they use red to train it. And somebody comes around that corner and nothing can stop that dog. It's going to go. It is going to go, and that dog's not going to stop. And they're well, really it's, it's, a strong animal, right? They're strong now, a animals, chihuahua, but a chihuahua which is five and a half exact pounds, same thing. Yes, but a chihuahua at five and a half pounds can go and go. It's not going to kill you. But it still does the same thing. They're just but as vicious. But it won't vicious, kill you, though. But it's just as vicious. And it's they like, can because if they... It won't kill you, though. Yes, they will. Not, no, not, not viciously. It won't kill you, though. No, not pit viciously. Will. A pit but here, will, you know. Here's, here's the thing. It's like a goldfish no, and a no, piranha. No. It's not going to work the same way. No, no, no. Because the thing, the gonna, thing you know. is, you gave a lot of what ifs, though. In, oh, totally, totally. In, the, in that scenario, you gave a lot of what ifs. Is what if his thing, his trigger is red? What if he wasn't mm -hmm. trained? What That's if right. this? A well-trained animal mm -hmm. doesn't do that. Correct. A well-trained Chihuahua doesn't do that. A badly trained Chihuahua will bite you. And an owner, yes. an owner who has a badly trained Chihuahua more than likely does not have the rabies shots. So if a, if a Chihuahua bites you, they can still kill you it depends they on could. the owner they could but i think the strength my opinion is the strength of a 85 pound 110 no, totally. pit bull and a five pound chihuahua because and it's just statistics i don't dislike uh pit bulls but i don't trust them because i've seen and i'm talking numerous times 
people do this. They get a rescue uh, pit bull. They don't know the history of it. Mm-hmm. And it's friendly with them. Mm-hmm. And so they're loving this dog. And they've never had a dog before. Yeah. So first of all, they don't know the right leashes or harnesses to put on this dog. And mm-hmm. when that dog goes, they don't realize the power that dog has. Yeah. Chihuahua, you can hold a chihuahua back. Yeah. With your pinky. When a pit bull goes, you have no control. So what about a now, golden here's the retriever? Thing. So you go into... What about whether, a golden retriever? They have a different temperament. They have totally different temperament. Golden retrievers? Yeah, a different temperament. They're hunting dog, but they're a different temperament. So here's my thing. I'll go to a dog park, and I've seen this so many times now, and some people think their dog's super nice, mm-hmm. but they don't know the history of the dog because they're mm-hmm. getting a rescue pit bull. Mm-hmm. They take it to a dog park, which they've never done before. Mm-hmm. There's another 25 dogs there. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they get that dog in there, it is a war. Yeah. So all of a sudden, they never knew the history of the dog. And I've seen two dogs die instantly like that because the pit bull will, it just goes. Oh, I know. My friend just, my I, friend's pit you, bull they, just killed a fucking well, now there's my there's my point. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I'm not saying I'm right. All I'm saying is I've never heard of a chihuahua getting into a, killing another dog. No. But the pit bull has not. the strength and the ability. And also because, unfortunately, the mindset, and I'm not saying all pit bulls are like that because they're not. But the point is, I've seen so many people rescue a pit bull, not understand the history. And sometimes you don't know the history. You can never learn that until mm-hmm. you get there. And I, you soon you release that pit bull in a, uh, in a, a dog kind of, you know, area. Now, now, with an owner that just owned the dog for a week, they can't get a hold of the dog. They can't catch the dog. Because when a dog loses their temper, they're going to get you. Yeah. And now they've got, now they're at the emergency because they got bites in themselves. So unfortunately, that's my problem with that breed of dog is people miss, miss obviously, train the dog yeah. for fighting and then they get saved and rescued but they're super you got to really watch them because they unfortunately they have the strength to kill something they really do whereas a chihuahua so or people. something like that don't unfortunately or and they're a small dog it could be a wiener dog or any of those those yeah. dogs don't have the ability to kill somebody it's kind of like just saying you know it's kind of like saying a shark and a goldfish they're so both how do you the feel waters, about you know? german shepherds they're i think they're a lot more um, but they're just as dangerous, yeah. but I believe they are a lot more, I don't want to say a little more intelligent. They also don't have a lockjaw, whereas pit bulls do. Yeah. Pit bulls have a lockjaw. And anything with a lockjaw, you're screwed. You can't get out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know, and Doberman or German Shepherds don't have that, you know. Now, are they prettier than a pit bull? Yes, they're, they're liked more. Like this panda thing we were talking about, yeah. alligators. The pit bull is an alligator to the dog community, yeah. right, to a lot of people. And the do- and the German Shepherd isn't. But a German Shepherd can just do as I much know, damage. I don't, you know I mean? don't think pit bulls so, yeah. are like... You know, I think I think maybe maybe you know. it's the the way I was raised, sure, probably, possibly, yeah, sure, yeah. because you know. I was never I was never raised to like think that like dogs are different. Like it's just mm. dogs are dogs. You yeah. depends on how you train them. Yeah, that's how. But if I, they not train well, though, a pit bull can kill me, and I'm scared. You know, but, the, you know, that's but the that's problem, the thing you know. is, I'm like, well, an, an untrained golden retriever can kill you. An untrained. Yeah, an, I just like, feel like any, they're not as any, strong though. And I've never seen a golden retriever kill anybody. I think I problem. think you're set on that. Yeah, for sure. Like you're yeah. set on that. But just because I've just seen so many. Maybe because have bulls, you seen it? Seen it? Oh yeah, I've seen it in dog parks. So I, you know, I have three dogs. I'm a huge dog advocate. You know, I'm not mm-hmm. like I said. I'm not against pit bulls. Uh, I, and I'm. It I, sounds you know, like you are. But, well, yeah, because there's more accidents with them. I've seen so many. You can just Google it. Unfortunately, yeah. there's not many accidents with chihuahuas. No, but you know I'm what like, mean? There's okay. not many accidents well, with that pools, being you know, said, unfortunately, you know, I mean, that being you know, said, so. you can you can Google. You can Google no. that black people do a lot of crime. Does that make you racist? No. You know what I'm saying? But you can also you can but, also but, but you can also Google that a lot of Mexicans are here illegally. Are they? It's true. It's a fact though. You can't deny that. No. The, uh, got, I mean that you can say no, that they're Mexicans not but they are. Mexicans come you know? out here illegally. You know. But sure. it's like saying that every single Mexican is illegal. No, no, like or I came said, I'm out not here saying, illegally. I'm not saying, like I said before, I'm not saying every pit bull is like that. I love pit bulls when they're trained right, but they have a huge strength and they have a huge rap because they're usually trained in the wrong way. And then when they're trained the wrong that's way, not you true, know, though. they are. They're, they're fighting dogs and bait dogs. Those are one of the strongest dogs in the world. That's why they're used for fight dogs and for betting. They still are. You know, it's a fact. You know, there's but many times. But then, like, okay, you know, so they, they really, say the you know, same thing about chickens because there's fighting chickens. Of course, that's wrong too. You know what I mean? They put razor blades on their ankles and have cockfights. Yeah, which I think is completely wrong too. But but without razor blades on their feet, they're not going to hurt you. The chickens not going to hurt you. They're not going to hurt you. Without razor blades on chickens. their feet. Chickens. Yeah, they're not going to hurt you. Not going to hurt have you. Have you seen a chicken fight? 
Without the razor blades. Have well, the you razor, seen that's it? what makes the They're chicken trained fries. chickens. Yeah, with razor blades. That's no, what makes without the razor blades. blades. Have you been to Mexico? Yeah. And seen a chicken fight? Yeah, but I've seen the razor blades on their legs. No, always. without the razor blades. I've never blade. seen that, though. They are killer. To, they're, they're, so what makes them go after each other when they don't have any razor blades on them? Like, how do they? I've the never beak. Seen it. That's it? Yeah, their beak and their, and their claws. Like That's they have, it. But see, yeah. I've seen the razor blades on their claws. No, I have, like, it. these are big. These chickens are as big as that fucking unicorn back there. Like, they're, they're big. They're huge. And I'm yeah. talking, they But they're have, raised for fighting. They though. have claws yeah. that are, like, huge. As, like, they they look like that fucking bird from that one fucking cartoon. Is it a chicken, though? For sure, huh? It's a chi- Well, it's a rooster. A rooster. No, well, same rooster, thing. Same chicken. chicken. Yeah, yeah it's a, rooster's a male chicken. The, the, it was the, are they raised differently because they're bigger or something? Or what do they do? No, they give them, like, just, steroids or something? They're just big ass shit. They're literally. Really? Yeah, it's. It's like like you know how there's mini pit bulls and then there's big pit bulls. There's there's different kinds of pit bulls. Sure. So, I've never seen a mini pit bull. I've just seen a you know standard pit bull with eighty five pounds to hundred. I've never seen like a little one like a thirty pounder. Or something no, not like a that. thirty pounder. No, I've never seen like, a mini pit bull. Like before, a cool yeah. like forty fifty pound dog compared sure. to like you know the eighty hundred yeah. pound dogs. But yeah. I think any fighting like that's uncalled for. I don't I don't believe in it. You know, I think a chicken fight I think the bull fights in Mexico, I know it's their culture, you know. I can't I don't stand like that watching shit. that. You know, I can't stand I don't like watching that shit because it, that's, a, that's not even well, it's, not a, fair. it's not a bull fight. It's no, a not fight fair. between a human exactly. and a fucking bull yeah. and a human has a weapon. Yeah, exactly. So You're I, mean, a pussy. I say go in the, yeah, I go in there without any weapons. You stand on your little with your little chonies on and then <laughs> you know and then have the bull there and now that's the fair fight. No sword. Now see who's gonna win. Now you know it's I mean? a fair now fight. Now we're talking. Yeah. And you maybe put horns on your head. You wanna wear a Viking hat? Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> you know, and now now it's fair if you want to play that game. But when you have spears and people are cheering like the guy's winning, I'm thinking, of course he's winning. He's got tons of metal. It's like yeah. me and a gun with a guy with a butter knife. I'm and like, that's stupid. And on top of that, you know? what's fucked up is that know. the man is trained. The man is trained. Well, the yeah, bull exactly. isn't. And the bull is trained. The, the bull, bull isn't. Exactly. The it's bull triggered is... by a red scarf, and that brings him no. to him, you know. The bull, you know what's funny is the bull is not trained. Like, oh no, wait, this is this is for cowboys. For the bull fighting, I don't think their it's balls the are tied. They, they, yeah. It's the red, but yeah. no, the, the balls are tied for the bull for the riding. Bull riding. That's right. That's another thing. That's a whole. If you squeeze your balls, you're gonna jump around like that too. Not, you know not what jump I mean? around my ass. I'm like, See? I'm gonna jump around, but I'm attacking everybody in that studio. Exactly right. I know. Yeah. In that arena, like you have, you tied my balls, bitch. Damn. And that's still happening. And I don't. It's not my thing. I know it's a cultural thing and all that. You know, it's or it's you know. In, in America, it's rodeo stuff. You know, they do. Yeah, it's not my thing either. You people, know? And, you know? the thing that and I was I, raised in the rodeo. I rode horses all my life. And I uh, I never did bull riding and stuff, but I just don't, you know, it, it's just not my world. You know, I, mean, yeah. I don't think it's, I'm not about that. I don't like that, violence. Know? Yeah, it's not my thing. I don't you know, like I mean? violence, whether it's with animals, you know? whether it's with people. With, yeah. Sometimes with kids, I kind of, I think that's funny. Mm. When kids, when kids are hitting each other, I think that's, that's just kind of funny. Mm. I will watch kids fight. <laughs> That shit is hilarious. Like mm-hmm. watching like kids going like the, eh, and then they hit each other, yeah. and then the other. I'm like, ooh, they gonna get him back. Mm-hmm. Oh, where you gonna get him? And it's like the dumbest little baby fight. Yeah, yeah. I will put babies in a ring and like <laughs> okay. call it a sport, bro. Okay. I, can, can that can that be a thing? I don't think that's a thing. I think that's well, no. like wait, but like Muay Thai. What's Muay Thai? Like Muay th- like like MMA and shit like that. MMA. Like, but they put little kids in it. I don't, I don't know if that should be done. <laughs> no, they do. They have. They. they... I'm gonna complete the fifth on that. I don't think that should be done. <laughs> really? No. Okay. Because there's boxing. There's like little kid boxing, and then there's like little kid MMA I don't where think they're like be any of that for little kids. I think. No. I think learning Tai Chi, Kung Fu, self defense, phenomenal. No. Yeah. But they the need... fighting thing, I don't think is necessary. But how are you gonna anymore. How are you gonna learn self defense without fighting? Well, I don't think you need to fight to learn self defense. I think when somebody hits you, you realize I don't like that, and you kick them in the nuts. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't think I need to fight, you know, for 10 years to pretend uh, to learn how to fight or at least teach my kids how to fight, protect themselves and yeah, not get hurt right. and stand up. But I don't need them to go fighting just to be prepared because I think it's a different mentality for that. You know what I mean? you know what's funny? Unless they want to fight and if, if they want to go into boxing when they're teenagers, you know, that, cool, it's a great you sport. Know you know one thing I mean? though, one thing that I've realized because there are so many UFC fighters and boxers and, and MMA fighters that come in here. Totally, yeah. One thing that I've learned about each and every one of these dudes is... They aren't violent, mm-hmm. super respectful, and have such fucking, like, the best, the type of discipline that makes me want to mm-hmm. suck their dick. Yes. Like, discipline of, like, like I can't fight, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to fight. No, my no, hands yes, are right. powerful. Yeah, yeah. My hands are powerful. I'm mm-hmm. not going to fight. And then when it comes down to it, like, oh, you want to fight? If you yeah. want it, if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. And bop, yeah. bop, bing, there goes that guy. That's right. I like, I love, I love how... 
respectful and like disciplined the MMA fighters are when they come in here. UFC yeah. fighters, all of them. Anybody that is from UFC, yeah. very respectful. Well, it's also confidence, you know, because they know a skill that we don't. And they've done it usually all their lives as kids. Yeah. It's, it's mixed martial arts and everything. And when you're that confident, like when you walk in a room, you know, kind of like when you do comedy and you walk on stage and grab a mic, you know a line before the audience knows a line. So you know it's going to kill and they're going to just lose it when it happens. Yeah. And, because that's the confidence of a good comedian. And when you, like Kevin Hart or any of those guys or Chappelle, when they walk out there and they just, it's not, nothing's more beautiful than when you walk in a room you know you're going to destroy because they don't know what's coming. Yeah. And, and that's a beautiful thing. Now, when you're not in that ring, you're learning and you're getting your material better. Same with a fighter. When you know... You're, it's not even worth fighting someone that's not into fighting because it's not even fair. They can put you on one hold and knock you out in two seconds without even touching you hardly because they're that professional. So when they're at a bar, they realize if they do kill somebody, they got a hell of a problem on their hands because yeah. it's not professional and they got a real problem legally. Right. So, and also they have the confidence that if this guy once throws one punch at them, they can put them on the floor in seconds. Yeah. So there's that confidence. That's that's where it comes from, I think, where they go, look, we're not doing this. We're not, I swear to God, we're just not. And then the guy will probably take a bunch of punches at the guy and the guy's look, and just it'll hold, hold the guy back going, we're not doing this. Because yeah. he realizes, or the girl who's into it as well, because <laughs> women who are very strong like that, they're very well trained, they realize we're not even, you can't we're even stop. It. We're not, yeah. they're not doing it. What are we doing right now? And then guys who do have the same skill, they don't fight because they're like, we're not, do, we're not doing this here. I don't, I don't care if you don't like me or you don't, whatever. <laughs> because it's a, I really believe it's a confidence thing, you know, of knowing their skills so well. That's that true, they go, yeah. I can just grab your neck and one little pressure and you're gonna, <laughs> just going to pass out. Like it's not even, I know that's what they points. do for a living. It's beautiful, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's where it comes in, where that, that is the confidence. Where you, where you fight every day of your life and you know every move, you're not going to fool these guys. You know right. what I mean? And I think there is that confidence. Like you walking on stage as a comedian, doing a line or two going, you know, I'm, I'm no, I'm just, just going to kill. And you're walking on, on stage doing a trick going, these people have no idea what they're in for. You exactly. Know? But when I'm young and new, you don't know what, the, you're, you're praying to hope to God the joke works or the trick works. You don't <laughs> even know it's funny, you know. So like as a fighter, when you're young, I think you're going, oh, I hope if I swing around this way, I can hit him. And they go up, oh, you know, arm went out too far. They took me down, you know, you know so. You, you know, know what's so crazy, too, though, is that I, I, I don't like to fight. I don't fight. I'm yeah, I'm not so, a fighter. I am but. so scared to fight. Yeah. Like, when it comes down to it, I will avoid all conflict at all costs. No fighting, just dick sucking. Exactly. See, you got to know what you're good at. See, you got to know what you're good at. See, I'm just saying. <laughs> you got to know I what just, you're good at. I listen. I'm listening. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. so... My brother, my brother had actually, um, I talk about it a lot. My brother had like attacked my family. Oh, and, no, really? And I had I, like full, full like mama bear mode just mm -hmm. came out. But I noticed that I don't fight unless I really feel the need to or I feel like my life is in danger. Sure, of course, it's the only time I fight. Yeah. Bro, when I tell you, I've, it was self defense. Mm -hmm. But they took me to jail because they were like, he is way more beat up than you were. Oh, interesting. And my brother yeah. tried to kill all of us in the family. Really? Like he, he was really, he yeah, he was, him. he really lost his noggin that wow. day. I like when I tell you, I was bomb binking the fuck sure. out of my brother, and then yeah, yeah. he. The the cop was like, it just, uh, he was like, I'm sorry, like, I just, I have to take you to jail because the way it looks. The protocol, yeah. Yeah, the mm -hmm. protocol, he was like, even though you guys are all telling me that it was self-defense, mm -hmm. he was fucked up. How was your mugshot? It was a cute mugshot? Yeah. That's important. I'm Very trying important. to get it. If anyone Very can help important. me get I mean, my mugshot. That's mugshot. some good press. That's what I, I want my mugshot. Well, I want to put it. Exactly. I'm, sure, I'm, sure it's a, you know, I'm sure it's public record somewhere. I'm sure. I have to. How do, you, like, how do I get my you fucking know? mugshot? How do you I do that? Go down the office, you know, maybe down Clark County. Go, hey. I'm gonna ask know, David exactly. Colmeyer. David exactly. Colmeyer, get me exactly. my give me my fucking See? mugshot. I've been asking that could be David Colmeyer. Your profile picture. How cool is that? <laughs> Look at that. You know, this so is CCSD you, on the bottom right? of my. <laughs> do you? So what do you? As a person though, uh, with your temper, how do you think your temper is with people? Do you think you're super chill, or do you lose it often? Like, no. what's your really? Do you chill out and you kind of go, don't get pissed off, and yeah. walk away, or do you lose it first and then chill out? I am a hundred percent i am chill I feel like you're spicy i'm i'm extremely spicy like mm -hmm. i would my thing is i'll let you know and i'll let you know in a spicy way but i don't get violent i don't okay. get loud okay. but i'll let you know like like sure. yo bro like that's not cool that, yeah. that thing that you did i didn't like that yeah. if i have to tell you a second time then it yeah. might get a little loud like look yeah. like the first okay no this and this is protocol this is like mental protocol for me the first time i joke about it Okay. Hey, motherfucker, you was late. Like yeah. I didn't, I didn't like that shit. Sure. But all right, all right. Next time, next time it's gonna be war. All yeah. right, but you was late once, and I'll make it a. Sure. Make it a joke. So you set the precedence. You said, hey, yeah, so you, you know, I was tone. aware, but you know, yeah. yeah. Then the second time is like, hey, now, now it gets, the, now the tone gets lower. Like, hey, like <laughs> I didn't, 
I didn't yeah. like that you did that. Like I'm gonna have, like yeah. I already told you I didn't like that you was late. You yeah. was 30 minutes late. You yeah. made me miss out on money. Something. That's right. I didn't yeah, like yeah, that. Of course. The third time is when I get loud. Sure. That's when that's I'm like, bullshit, yeah. yeah, that's when I'm like, I already fucking told, I done told you this time, I told you this yeah. time, and you still doing it? Yeah, yeah. Nah, bitch, now we can, now I'm getting in your face, now I'm saying bitch, now I'm getting disrespectful. Sure, now I'm you're losing it, yeah. Now I'm losing it. Yeah. But when it comes, like, I still would never, I would never lay hands on somebody. I'm lying. I'm mm -hmm. hella lying because I, I have laid hands on, like, ex-boyfriends that okay. have, like, I don't like being, I don't like being interrupted. I have mm. a thing with that. I don't yeah. like being interrupted, and I don't like when people speak over me. It disrespect I disrespect you a little bit. I just, I don't mind if it's regular conversation. It's mm. when I'm expressing and oh, I'm and they pouring right my heart yeah, out, yeah, yeah. and you're cutting me mm -hmm. off, and I'm like, oh my God, you don't let me speak. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know, that's when I'm well, like. Because they're not giving you the time to listen. Even if yeah. you're wrong or right or he's wrong or she is or whatever, I always tell people the biggest gift you could ever have in life, because people always go, what's your success? Why are you? If you, are you successful or whatever they think success is? And I go, one word, super simple. All your life is all you have to do is listen. Wow. If you listen, you will learn. It's so simple. You don't have to always share your opinion because you may be right and probably are with a lot of things. But it doesn't matter because you know you're right. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really important. And you know what's wrong and right. But if you're not listening, you're not educating yourself to what yes. that person is sharing, whether they're wrong or right. That's okay if they're wrong. Let them be wrong. Yeah. But if you know the real, real answer, who cares? But the more you can get from somebody, um, the more beneficial you'll be educated and smarter down the road. Whether it be something you're trying to figure out about that person or life or business or money, if you just listen and say nothing and then just walk away, not to be rude, I'm just saying, even if you don't get your voice your heard, across, yeah. you've learned so much. About Whether that, that person is amazing, about that person, about maybe uh, life, or maybe mm -hmm. something they maybe they are maybe it's maybe it's Bill Gates sharing you how he built his first computer, something really educational, yes, yes. or Oprah Winfrey telling you how I mean something. But as soon as you cut somebody off, you you miss that moment, that piece of gold that they were going to give you, and you cut it off, and then it's changed somewhere else, and you're like, but they were giving you gold. Yeah. Whether it's that you wanted to hear it or not, that's a whole other thing. But <laughs> you know, because maybe you don't want to hear the bullshit, and that's nothing's wrong with that either. <clears throat> but. Yeah, I always tell people the biggest thing you can ever do in life and you want to be successful is shut up and listen. And like you just said, because first of all, it's something you appreciate, you know what I mean? Because you want to be heard, right? Yeah. Which is important as well. Uh, but then also that person's giving you the respect to hear what you're saying. Uh, and it makes you feel good that right. you're being heard. Whether they agree with you or not, that doesn't matter. That's their own opinion. You can't control that. Right. Um, but listening is a really powerful thing. And the more you listen, the more successful you'll be. You know, and, and then work silently and get ahead. Don't brag about what you're doing. And then all of a sudden you're like, bam, holy shit, you're the Eiffel Tower. What happened there? I was like, I didn't tell you what I was doing. I didn't need to tell you about it. Everyone tell, tells everybody what they're doing so much, even online and secret, and this is coming fast. And you're saying, and everyone's like, just do it. Just yeah. don't quit the bullshit. Listen yeah. and do it. You'll be successful. Just just get on with it. I you know? love but, that so much. You know? I love that you said that because it's it, 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 it kind of like, you know. What is it called? Confirmed that I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm doing the right thing. Because sure. sometimes <clears throat> um, I I tend to like not tell people what I'm doing because back in the day, I used to tell people what I was doing and then it would fall through. Mm. And then I just look stupid and, and be like, oh, come back, right? what happened to the tour you were going to go That's on? Right. And I'm like, damn, it's just mm. like, like right. they, you know, and it makes, it makes me feel stupid, makes me look stupid. So like now... Like you said, like I work not in silence, but I just don't mm -hmm. tell people what I'm doing because I don't know if it's going to follow through. Correct. So then when it does, it's like, hey, <laughs> Let's go. you got a comedy show. They're like, Let's how the go. fuck you do that? Yeah. I'm like, I was, yes. I was working. I was working on the sidelines by myself. Yeah, yeah and that's, that's what you so do. And then bad. once it's in print or on a poster, I love that. Uh, or whatever you're doing, or it's actually happening, then you can share what you've been working on. Yeah. And now you're not gonna and let people down or set yourself up for your own failure. Which if you didn't tell anybody, it's not failing. Right. It's just something didn't come through. A lot of things in life won't come through that people say they will. But but then when it happens, all of a sudden they go, "Holy crap! Look at what are we doing right now?" Well. No, no one, no, or there could have been two other things. Could have been getting on Jimmy Fallon and getting on all these other shows and they fell through. Well, you didn't tell anybody, nothing fell through. Right. It did for you. But then all of a sudden, tonight on Fallon, like, you're on Jimmy Fallon? And you're like, yeah, well, I lost it a couple times the last six months, but they finally put me on this week and I'm doing it, you know? Right. And when they have the print up, you're going to be on that night. Now you can tell them. You know? <laughs> but all the other times, you know, it doesn't happen. Now you got to go back with your tail between your legs and yeah. go, shit. And it happens a lot. So that's another thing to learn is don't say anything until you're at walking on that stage or you've signed the deal. Or even when you sign the deal, sometimes it's not the case, you know? Or when's going to air on TV when you know it's in the can. 
and they yeah. send you the air date, and you know damn well tonight is going to go, then you can brag about it. But That's even it. that time, sometimes they'll cut it for maybe, you know, there'll be something happening. You know, like, like you know, news like yesterday, every news channel, you know, took on UNLV shooting. So what if you're supposed to be on the right. news? If you're supposed to be on the news today, or you're supposed to be on the front page of the newspaper today, right. you're not. You're done, and this is on there, and maybe your window, and this, I've seen it happen lots, even myself, you know, or pres the president's in town. I'm like, oh, the president came to town? Oh, well, God. there goes, <laughs> I'm guessing not on the news today, right. so. <laughs> no, no, you know, yeah, or somebody died, you know what I mean? And you're like, oh, no, my God, somebody died. Elvis died, there goes my news. And it happens a lot, you know, and people have lost really good certain things, you know, even being on the cover of Time magazine, somebody's promised something. I'm sure there's a story that somebody's promised a front cover, and then something else happened that week, and then all of a sudden, that was the end of that news story, and they missed the window, and they never got the cover, you know? And I so, actually you know, had those opportunities. You know. I've had opportunities taken from me like that where I was like, I was supposed to be on TV, mm -hmm. I was supposed to be in a movie, and mm -hmm. I had it like set in the bag. Yep. And I'm telling people about it. Of and I'm like, I'm, I'm supposed to be in this movie, I'm like, I'm learning my lines and yep. shit. And then the guy's like, hey, if you sleep with me, I'll put you in the movie. No, and I'm know, like, bro. You know, really? Yeah, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, that's happened to me a lot of times. I'm like, this industry. That, that does happen a lot. Huh? Not to men. It's doesn't. I mean, you get men on men sometimes doing Oh, yeah. I was going to say. I was like, too, you know. But I know in the women, you know, obviously, we all know this. You know, it happens a lot with women. And it has happened for years, which is completely it's wrong. It's happened you know I mean? so much. You know, and I can't believe it's even happening in this day and age now. I think it's never you know? going to end. I don't think it's, I yeah. think it's genuinely never going to end. Like, if a man has any type of control and some, some type of power, he's mm -hmm. going to try to get women to sleep with him I over it. Yeah. Like, there's respectful men out there. Sure. There's beautiful, there's fucking sure. wonderful men out there. Sure, that, yeah, yeah. You know, but there's also, there's still a lot of fucking dogs out there that... You no, know, wild, I know. And yeah. I can't believe in this day and age that people... That people think they can get away with it. You know what I mean? Like, I get it if you're, I don't know, I get if you're dating a guy or you guys have some sort of a history and there's a joke in there, you know, or whatever. Like, my wife and I'll joke because we're married. You yeah. know what I mean? It doesn't matter what we, because we're married. We both help each other out. But it's not, it's not sex driven, you know, yeah. for a job. And I'm so worried about my, um, just my own presence and my, yeah. You may see a hot guy or a girl or whatever. You go, oh my God, man! If, we, if I was single, never said, you know, right. it'd be fun, right? We all have, we're humans. We all like things. You know yeah. what I mean? You see a Ferrari parked outside. I would love to steal that car. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not, but I'd like to steal. It's a nice car, right? I'm not going to steal a rusted Datsun 1987 right. out there. But my point is, there's things we all think because we're human. But acting on it's a whole different thing, you know. And I can't believe in this day and age that. Men still think they can get away with that. Yeah. That there's not going to be some. There's not going to be a, a kickback right away. Yeah. Instantly nowadays because everything's so open and so. You can here. put anything on the internet. Well, now. that's the thing. So how do you like? Why would you do that? Even if you have addictions or urges or any of that crap, why do you think that's okay? Or why do you think you can get away with it? You know what I mean? You know like, what's in the, so especially funny? in this day and age. I know back in the eighties oh. or seventies. There's no, you couldn't find anything, you know, but, but nowadays, like why just, it goes back to that American greed forensic file thing. Why are people killing people now? You're going to get caught. I don't give a shit. Somehow you're going to get caught. Your fingernail clipping is going to be on the carpet. <laughs> and in five years from now, they're going to find the damn thing. And you could be on a vacation in Hawaii with your 10 kids and wife <laughs> and you killed somebody and they're going to find you. Like, I don't get it. You know what I mean? I so, don't get it I either. Know. I'm like, everything you know? always comes up in, okay, the fact that you you're know. saying this is, it's kind of reminded me of a story. I have a friend. She's dating this guy who owns a um, like a modeling agency, mm -hmm. kind of like a like a, a talent agency. Sure. Okay, yeah. so he has a talent agency, and she's working for him. And he actually he moved her he moved her out to um, uh, where is she at? New Jersey? No, not Jersey. Somewhere. Uh -huh. He moved her out there to go and be with him. Okay, to work in the business. To work supposedly. in the business. Oh boy. She finds out this homie's married. Mm. So she's like... Were they already chatting like like a relationship? Is okay, so yeah, okay. So yeah, let, me put, let yeah. me put this into perspective. He basically, they were talking and he was going to give her a job in her, in her, in his uh, agency. Because they liked each other already because or just because they... they liked each other already. Oh, okay, so there's already that so going on. So there was on. already just that a little connection thing, going right? on. So she's so like, okay. She has the little connection. So they he, like each other. They like each other. All right. But it gets deeper because he, he like, they like each other. She moves out here or yeah. out, out there for yeah. him. Mm -hmm. They're sending naked pictures to each other. Yes. All <laughs> right, yeah, right, come on now. Like, Sexting, come on now. I want to see those. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. Okay, so she moves out, and but she didn't know he was married? She didn't know. Does he know he's married? Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, I just, it's about, I've just got to be fair on both sides. It does, I really you thought know, about the question. You know, I know. I appreciate you really thinking about that. I so. was like, oh, you threw me for a loop. Yeah. So, like, he, he knows. Okay. I guess. Well, I mean, I'm guessing. I don't know the guy. But does the, the wife know she's married to him? I, she likes. I don't know. Okay. I only know her side of the so story. So how's that going right now? Is she still working for him? She's working for him, but because you know she literally moved out there so they hooking up to on be the side, with him. I guess? She she was, yeah, yeah. but now she's like, bro, you're married. I didn't know this isn't the situation I thought it was. Mm -hmm. But he has control because it's a job and money. Bitch, you're working for me. Mm. I moved you out here. Yeah, yeah. Or out there, yeah, out here. Mm -hmm. I moved you out here. You're being unappreciative of the shit that I'm doing for you. No, I'd kick him in the nuts and say fuck off. That's what I, I because mean, she can do, you know, I always hate when people always say they're he trapped lied or to they're. Her. I get you when you're trapped when somebody puts you in a bad situation where you can't pay your bills and you can't. But I really get frustrated when men yeah. and women, you know, I've seen it's just I see women, women more. Do, yeah. I see more than women, but but they'll want something, they'll, they'll, they won't read the red flags, right? They'll mm -hmm. see something, and it's so goddamn obvious the guy's an idiot, you know what I mean? <laughs> So, so obvious. They're like, yeah, but maybe it's not. What? No, there's no maybe. What you see is what you're getting. So don't be pissed off when it goes south. Yeah. You've already, your instinct already thought it's going to go south. Right. Well, then you're just confirming it a year later. Going, ah, oh, this guy's an asshole. I'm like, you knew he was an asshole 10 months when you said he was an asshole the first time. So what are you going to do? Try to, you know. Jess, I hate to put you on blast, a, a nice guy? Yeah, you know, like, what do you, so that's I'm my like, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, Jess, you hearing him, bitch? You know? I'm putting you on blast. I don't give a fuck, bitch. You hearing him? You know, but you can't fix asshole. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can't. can't you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what you're getting. So if you can handle the asshole and you're getting paid a lot or you're getting good trips, you get whatever, <laughs> yeah. deal with it. But don't be pissed off. And the, the guy's like, I can't believe the guy's an asshole. I said, well, I thought he was an asshole 10 months ago. Well, he was. I just can't believe he's still an asshole. I'm like, right. no, he's exactly. It's like I bought a cow and you go, and the cow's black and white. What if it it's starts not in color. off, I'm though? Like, you bought like, the cow black and white. It's going to be black and white next year, too. But if it starts off magical... Well, then that's fine. And if it goes south, like a lot of relationships do, we've all been in relationships that are yeah. magical and exciting. Those first two months of the honeymoon phase, everything's amazing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the love's great. The, the trips are wonderful. You love each other lots. The sex unbelievable, all that crap. But then all of a sudden, after you get through seeing each other naked every day and going in these right. nice dinners, and all, now all of a sudden you got to wake up and somebody's snoring. You know, and you're like, you know what? I don't want that. You know, or somebody leaves their clothes around, or you, they're just small things. Where you go, this is my everyday life, dude. Like, don't do this stuff because, like, have some respect for my space or whatever pisses you off. <laughs> or they come at four in the morning drunk every night, and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't sign up for this part. You know what I mean? Um, so that's when you know. But you're then, you saying know, everything that like resonates know, with a bunch of shit that I say about the know, people that I date. <laughs> well, there you go. So, so if you don't want to put up with bullshit, you know, and I get, I get it. A lot of people, you know, a lot of women, women get digmatized. You know, or a lot yeah. of guys also put up with women that are hot as shit and treats them like shit. Uh, shit, but because they're so hot and he, they can't believe they're getting that pussy, um, <laughs> they're like, I'll put up with some shit. You know, which uh, fair enough, I get that. But then I sit back and go, dude, yeah, but she's a pain in your ass, like. She's beautiful, but there's so many beautiful people outside that are really nice people that will treat you great, that got some pussy of gold and some nice ditties and everything else. Go, with, It's okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? But why would you want to put up with that? I just don't have patience for that. Uh -uh. And it's, it's got to go the same way, too. Like, if a guy's treating you like crap, don't let him get away with that. You know what I mean? Or, but, but like you said, you're, you know, your girl flew out to be with this guy to work for his agency. I know she's getting money. She's getting a boyfriend, kind of, or getting laid or whatever she's liking. But if that's something she doesn't like right away, Fuck it. Stop. Go back home. I don't care what you got to do. Drive Uber or do whatever you got to do to make some money. Uh, there's places to make money. Go work at Walmart or Starbucks or Home Depot. They all have great jobs and there's, and there's great money. Go get away from it. Don't blame him for your mistake. You made a mistake. He sucked you in. He's an asshole. Great. So he's an asshole. That's his. Now you know he's got, he's got the asshole T-shirt. So you know now. <laughs> So he's not going to, that, that's the t-shirt you're getting. So now if you think you can change him, that's your own prerogative because it's probably not going to happen because if he's done that to you, uh, he's going to do it to another girl later. Once, So say he leaves his wife and does it to you five years later, he's going to do it to you to another. Oh, yeah. So We or, found out about you know, another girl. Yeah. Was, so either get that dick and make some money and be the side chick and be happy with that. And if that's going to work out for you, don't be angry. Enjoy it. Enjoy being the side piece. Or leave. Or leave. And then, but don't be pissed off saying you can't get the hell out of it. Uh, you can. Hop on a plane. Southwest got some really cheap flights. Hop on a bus. <laughs> a Greyhound, you can go across the states for about 150 bucks, you know. Now, getting on a Greyhound bus, you get on You're that goddamn so thing. You, and you want to call America's Most Wanted and go, oh, my God, I found them all. <laughs> But that's your own prediction. <laughs> but that's fine. But you can get anywhere across the country and get the hell out of it and go start your own life again. Don't blame it's, that guy, you know? He's so stupid. <laughs>
Anyway, so that's I my two cents. I found all of them. You know? <laughs> You know, or, you know, get a nice pit bull and a chihuahua. Go to a dog park and have a great life. Oh, you know what yes. I mean? And snore some coke off somebody's dick and there's your life. Yes! It's, 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 there you go. <laughs> and now you're happy. You've know, you got a great life and you're, you know, you're at your own world. No one tells you what to do. you got a pit bull for protection. you got a little chihuahua that's going to bite your nails off. You're just snoring coke off a dick. Just get a regular dick. Just buy a rubber dick just like one of these behind me. How about that dick? Just oh, snore it off that. It looks fluffy and kind. Doesn't look like an asshole. It looks like a very friendly dick behind me. Doesn't that look like friendly dick right there? That's a friendly fucking dick. The little guy looks like an asshole to me, but but the big dick looks very friendly. But see, I can see that right away. So I'm gonna go for the fluffy dick, not the little asshole. I feel like that's like a pit bull and a chihuahua right there. See? See that pit bull? Very friendly. If you like pit bulls? I'm being nice about that. And that little dick is like a little chihuahua. It's got an ankle biter. It's gonna be a pain in your ass. You can already look at it. It even has an attitude already. Look at it. How oh, stiff so it is good. and being proud back there. <laughs> oh, you yeah. Know? So I'm just saying, that's just my opinion, you asked. There you go. What's the next question? <laughs> After me talking about all my listening, I just talked a lot. But the oh, point is, God. you know? Where the fuck can the people find you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just Google my name. Murray oh, Saw, Chuck, God. Murray Magic, Magic Murray, all that. You'll see more than you ever want to see. That was, yes. but, oh my God, I know because it, you know, there's pictures that mm-hmm. I'm like, this motherfucker's naked. <laughs> He's naked with a scarf on his dick. Yes. I love it. Yes. I, lo- I love your My pictures. wife and I love our naked pictures. I'm I, thinking, why, no. why not do it? Because when I'm 80, no the one's going to want to see that shit. The girl that you took pictures with that was naked, that's, that's my wife. your wife. Yeah, she's a big uh, showgirl. Danny. Yeah. She's, so she's a dancer. Ayo. She's a showgirl. Ayo, wait, pause yes. the show. Pause yeah. the show. Pause the show. Yeah. No disrespect, but I fucked yeah. the shit out of his wife. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch fine as fuck. Isn't she? Oh my bro, I thought she was just like a friend. You know, no. you know, you know those friends that you're just like a little too comfortable with, kind of. Yeah, deal? yeah. Yeah, so, I thought she was one of those. I didn't no, know those no. were wife. Yeah, Damn, we, we bitch, are, yeah. you fine as fuck. Yeah, she's hot and she. Cool. What the fuck? How old is she? She look about she twenty. Just turned thirty nine. Isn't that amazing? How old are you? I am twenty nine. <laughs> no, I just turned 50 last week. Can you believe wow. that? Wow. And Fucking she's 50. 20. She's 39? 39, yes. Oh, you guys aren't too far apart. No, her pussy's like an 18 year old. So I, it go. looks yeah. her, Okay, her body look 18. I know, yeah. She's a dancer. So she works out like every day. Damn. Does the Pilates. That bitch look tight. Mm-hmm. Like, like Asian pussy tight. Like her whole body look yep. like an Asian pussy. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yep. You yep. She's a walking mother- Asian pussy. <laughs> That's my wife. She's going to love that. She's gonna love that. <laughs> that yeah. bitch is fine if yeah. I, you pretty bitch. Yeah, when she no walks, disrespect. she squeaks. Yeah. <laughs> when she walks, that's how tight it is. <laughs> that's it, it's so tight. I'm like, wait, that's my wife walking. What's that? It's tight pussy. That's it, just. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's like, oh, that's my wife. It's, I'm so, d- I'm yeah. done with you. I'm so- <laughs> <laughs> Our engineer is fucking cracking his ass off back there, trying to sp- trying to laugh silent. Oh my god! But she's amazing. Though. Like you'd love her. Like she's such a cool chick. She's from New York. Everyone she- loves her because she's just so down to earth. She really she's super hot, but she's super goofy. Like she knows she's hot, but she doesn't know she's hot. You know what I mean? Like she doesn't I give love a shit. That. You know? Like she was ugly at one point, but totally. now she's pretty, so she still has she's, that ugly in her. She's awesome. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, yeah you know, I she's love that. Super cool, and she, everyone likes her. Guys, girls, Can you know, she be little to be people, on my everybody. Show? Yeah, like you should, oh, she, she she'd funny? Love, oh, she'd totally do, yeah. Oh, my because, God. You know, she's, so she was the, one of the last What's real her name? show. Danny Asian Elizabeth. Cat? No, yeah, exactly. Oh. Danny Elizabeth. Danny Elizabeth yeah. be on my yeah, show. Yeah, Danny thing. Elizabeth. Yeah. And, uh, but no, she's. <laughs> Danny Poitier. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth. Um, but so she's, uh, but she's a showgirl from Jubilee, the last showgirl show in Vegas. And she's also the lead dancer for ZZ Top. Wait. That's what she does. And she's the host of a Bitch, touch of burlesque. Do you know so. Danny Salas? So, does she yeah. know? Do you know Danny? Yeah. You know Danny Salas? I know him, yeah. That's my brother. No. That's my what? brother. Are you serious? That's my blood brother. He used to work for Caesars. Yes, yeah. he's the. That, I tell everybody about Danny. him. Did he's he have the, an accident? Yeah. He can't, he, he can't walk now, right? No, yeah, he's in a wheelchair. I couldn't believe that. I was so shocked. I was so. I just was beside myself. He was a dear friend of mine. He ran my theater at Planet Hollywood. Yes. I know him very well. He's your real brother? That's my real no life way. brother. Is that the guy yes. you beat up? No, the other okay, one. Okay, just check it. I think if you put him in a wheelchair, that wasn't we have the to another, that's another that wasn't that. I think if you put him in a wheelchair, I, I am accident. calling security right now. I am so scared for my life. I'm going to take my two dicks behind me and get the hell out of here. And my three dicks. My, I'll take my own two, actually. Oh, my. 
my yeah. God, you know Daddy. He's an amazing dude. I love that man so much. He was the so kindest. So do I. He's the kindest. I can't believe what happened to him. I know I saw it on Instagram one because I hadn't seen him for years. Yeah. I knew he moved up north or whatever he left. And I was just, bes- I just couldn't believe it, dude. I was so sad when that happened. Oh so, my yeah. God. So no, give him my love because I love that guy. Oh, I yeah. will get. I, I is he wish... back in Vegas now? No, he yeah, he's, okay. he, yeah, he went up home. north. He lived, moved somewhere for a he while. He was in Montana, That's and then he him. um he was in the hospital in Seattle, and then yeah. he came he came back okay. home to Vegas, obviously. Yeah, but yeah. um, great guy, super cool guy. He is. Has he ever cooked for you? No, no, he's never cooked. He only worked for my theater, so we always had good laughs, and he got tickets for me for shows and stuff and, like okay. that. Really good. He never, he's a good cook. Imagine the laughs that he gives you. You mm-hmm. know how warm you feel inside. Because oh, yeah. my brother, let me oh. tell you guys, my brother yeah. is the sweet, like, like heart of gold, right? Heart of gold. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't hurt a fly, literally. Yeah, like, yeah. wouldn't hurt a dog. Wouldn't no. hurt people. Like, if you're mean to him, he just walks away. Yeah, yeah. He avoids conflict at all. Co- like, my brother is a fucking angel. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. He's a fucking angel. Yes. And. Um, um, what was I saying? You're talking about what a great guy he is and that oh, he's cooking. Oh, his food, right. Mm. So you know how he like makes you feel warm inside yeah. when just his presence, it just makes yeah. you feel warm. His food does that on the inside. Really? Oh, <laughs> it's so good, yeah. His mac and cheese, bro. Yeah. Oh my God, the mac and cheese. I have been, I literally said it on my podcast one time. I was like, if I had a dick, mm-hmm. I would fuck the shit out of my brother's mac and cheese. Wow, you know, that I is a bumper sticker. I think it's a meme. It. I think it's a meme it's right there. It's a meme there. right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mac and cheese so good, I'd fuck the shit out of oh it. Oh my god, my bro, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna tell him, Danny, one day yeah. just cook, and I will take it personally to to Murray. Yes, and I'll M- fuck Murray. that mac and cheese. Yeah, I will fuck. I will. Me, you, and your wife Perfect. together. We're gonna fuck that mac We're and cheese. We're gonna fuck the mac and cheese. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but oh. anyways, guys, where do you do? You, are you doing magic right now? Yeah, like, I'm at Tropicana. I'm uh, there four I days gotta a week. I go yeah. see you. Come by anytime. The Laugh Factory, Tropicana, uh, Sunday through. Thursday, uh, th- Sunday through Wednesdays, four o'clock. Yeah, and then right after Christmas, like I'm going to LA on Monday for a week of shows at the Magic Castle in Hollywood. But once I'm back on that Monday, we're doing shows every day till January first. So, oh yeah. my God, I have to. Okay, so, I'm definitely come go- hang. Yeah, you want to go, Miguel? Come, bring let's that go. Mac and bring cheese. in your wife. We're bring bringing wife. Miguel's wife and the yeah, kids and everything. Oh, we're boy. bringing the whole family. Bring Look everybody. Us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, got the mac and cheese for you. Oh, <laughs> oh. Just kind of it laid out in a bunch of like <laughs> <Exactly>. pussy pockets. <laughs> perfect. I don't know if that's delicious or really fucking. Weird. I'll eat it after. I don't give a oh, fuck. Perfect. I'm nasty. There, Let's go. I'm like, if my if my dude nut in my mac and cheese, <laughs> yeah. my brother's mac and cheese, I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough for this show, guys. I think we're done. <laughs> I'm horny and hungry. <laughs> but anyways, guys, please follow Mur- Murray. I yeah. can't say Murray. I think That's it's just fine. because Murray's like, fine too. I don't I mean, like you break it. Break it down though. to syllables. I like syllables. <laughs> I love that. It's perfect. I love Murray. It makes it sound. It sounds more expensive when you say it that way. Murray. So I feel like talk. I can charge more with Murray. Murray. I feel like you want Murray. He's like Murray. ten bucks. Murray. So He's a hundred. I like that. I you feel guys like follow Murray Sasha. <laughs> exactly. You, you, sound, like, you like, sound like a. Now I'm French and, and Russian a bit there. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> and French somehow. <laughs> Perfect. But thank you so much for coming on thank the show. You. I appreciate it Thanks so fucking much. Thanks for hanging. Happy holidays. Thank you, Miguel, for being on the bid, the rigs and the ones and twos back there. <laughs> but until next time, guys, I appreciate it. Bye.